Chapter 2, The Cop and Dr. Smiley When we came in from recess, Mrs. was clapping her loud hands together again like this. You want to clap your hands with me? Boys and girls, please take your seats quickly. I've got a wonderful full surprise for you. Then I got very excited inside my stomach because surprises are my most favorite thing in the whole world. <gasps> Is it jelly donuts? I shouted. Mrs. put her finger to her lips. Shh. That means be quiet. Yeah, only guess what? Jelly donuts are my most favorite kind of donuts, except I also like the creamy kind and the chocolate kind and the kind with rainbow sprinkles on the top. After that, my mouth got very watering and some drool fell on the table. I wiped it up with my sweater sleeve like that. Just then, there was a knock at the door. Uh, I gotta find something to knock on. How about that? <laughs> Mrs. hurried to open it. Hey, it's a cop! I hollered very excited. The cop came into room nine. He had on a blue shirt with a shiny badge and shiny black boots and a shiny white motorcycle helmet. Mrs. smiled. Boys and girls, I would like you to meet my friend, Officer Mike. Officer Mike is a policeman. Who can tell me what policemen do? I can, I called out. They rest people, because one time some cops rested a guy on my street. And so that means they made him take a nap, I think. Just then, that gym I hate, oh, Junie, uh-uh, laughed very loud. They didn't rest him, stupid. Oh, there's another very nice word. I really think these friends from room 90 to come to our school and learn how to be kind. He hollered, they arrested him. That means they took him to jail, and so your neighbor's a dirty, rotten jailbird. Ooh. I don't think I like the way he said that. Then the other kids laughed, too, and so I hided my head. Yeah, only I hardly even know that guy, I said to just myself. After that, Officer Mike took off his shiny white helmet, and he told us some other stuff that cops do, like give our dads speeding tickets and rest drunk guys. Also, he let us play with his handcuffs and his shiny white helmet, except for the helmet was very too big for my head, and it covered my whole entire eyes. Hey, who turned out the lights? I said. And here's a picture of Junie B trying on the helmet. Because that was a funny joke, of course. Then another knock came at the door. Knock, 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 knock. This time, it was a lady in a long white jacket. She was carrying a giant red toothbrush. Boys and girls, this is Dr. Smiley, said Mrs. Dr. Smiley is a children's dentist. Dr. Smiley hung up some posters of teeth. Then she talked all about Mr. Tooth Decay. And she said to brush our teeth at night like this. And also in the morning. Yeah, because if you don't brush in the morning, your breath smells like stink, I said. After that, I showed Dr. Smiley my wiggling tooth. Losing baby teeth is exciting, isn't it? She asked. Yes, I said, except for I don't like the part when you cry and spit blood. Dr. Smiley made a sick face. Then she passed out some minty green dental floss, and all the kids in room nine practiced flossing. Have you ever flossed your teeth before? That's when your, your family can give you a string. Maybe you can try it. It's special dental floss. And then you kind of put it between your teeth to clean really well in between them. And all, flossing is when you pull strings through your mouth. Only pretty soon an accident happened. That's because a boy named William winded his floss too tight and his teeth and head got all tangled in a knot ball. And Dr. Smiley couldn't undo him. Then Mrs. had to call janitor speedy quick. And so he ran to room nine and he shined his giant flashlight in William's mouth. And then Dr. Smiley got the dangerous floss right out of there. Room nine clapped and clapped. Yay, janitor! Dr. Smiley did a bow. Then Mrs. said that maybe some of us might like to dress up like dentists or police officers on job day. Only, yeah, only, um, what if you didn't, don't like bloody teeth, I asked. Mrs. rolled her eyes way up at the ceiling like this. Then she walked Officer Mike and Dr. Smiley out into the hall. That's when room nine started buzzing very loud. 
buzzing is what you do when your teacher leaves the room. I'm going to dress up like an actress on job day, said a girl named Emily. I'm going to dress up like a princess, said my bestest friend Lucille that I hate. Oh, Junie, we're going to stop saying that word. Okay, friends, here is Janitor helping Dr. Smiley get the dental floss out of his mouth. You see that? <clears throat> I did a giggle. Hee 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 hee. I'm going to dress up like a bullfighter, I said. Then I ran speedy quick around the room and I butted that mean gym in the stomach with my head. And guess what? I didn't even get caught. That's what. Oh, Junie.